Hi, I'm Terry Johnson, one of the co-creators of the Quirkles, and today I have two of my older scientists with us today. Uh, what's your name? Carson. And what grade are you in, Carson? Fourth. And what's your name? Hayden. And what grade are you in, Hayden? Second. Well, today we're going to do some of the activities from Pressure Pete and Mary Motion. If you're like me, you have a lot of leftover eggs from Easter last month. I have a lot of dyed eggs, I have a lot of boiled eggs, and I have some eggs that I didn't even get around to boiling. So what should we do? Science, right? Science yeah. activities. Our first activity today is we are going to take this hard boiled egg and we are going to try to get it into the bottle. Now you might say, well, Miss Terry, that's easy. I'll just take the I'll just take the egg and squash it into the bottle. But uh-uh, that's against the rule. We cannot break the bottle, we cannot break the egg. Well, what is inside the bottle? Air. Air. So we need to get the air out of the bottle in order to get the egg in the bottle, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, how are we going to get the air out of the bottle? Any ideas? Hmm. I wonder what we could do. Hmm. What could we do? Make warm air and ah. push it out. Ah, make warm air. And we're going to make warm air with our lighter and heat the air. Now, I want to be sure and tell everyone, do not let children do this alone. This is an adult activity that should be observed only. And definitely with supervision, because we know children do not play with fire. So, what we're going to do is we are going to light this paper. Now, Carson, your job is going to be, as soon as I light the paper and put it in the bottle, I want you to set the egg right on top of the bottle this way, okay? And we're going to see what happens. We're going to see if we can get that egg inside the bottle by lighting the air, by warming the air, lighting the paper. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Get a good fire. Put it in. I'll put the egg on it. All right. Oh, let's see what happens. Is it going down? Is it going down? <laughs> Fire and go. All right, and let's see if we can slowly. Oh, look what's happening. Look what's happening. It is up. Ew. All right, now the egg fits in the bottle. Give yourself a great big hand. That was excellent. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this drinking glass that is half full of water. We're going to take a simple pie pan, an aluminum pie pan, and we're going to take this paper towel holder and put it on top. Now this is a raw egg, not a hard boiled egg, and we're going to simply just sit it on top of the paper towel holder. Now. What our goal is, is that we want the egg to end up into the glass. Now, the egg is not going to move unless we do something to it, is it? No. Nope. If we just say, egg, come here, is that going to work? No. No, last time I checked, eggs just didn't fly around. Okay, we are going to have to apply a force. Sir Isaac Newton said that an object will stay in place until a force is acted upon it. Hayden, you're going to be that force. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to take your hand and you're going to put it about six inches away from the pie plant. You play tennis, don't you, Hayden? Yes. So you know about carry through, right? Right? Carry through your swing? Oh, yeah. Okay, so you know about carry through. So you're going to take it about six inches. You're going to hit the pan and you're just going to carry through with your hand, okay? All right, are we ready, Carson? We're going to cheer her on. We're going to count to three. Let's go. One, One two, two, three, three go. Ah, excellent. Let's give her a hand. That was awesome. For more science activities, check us out on our website, quirkles.com, or for more YouTube videos, youtube.com. 
Thank you so much. Say bye-bye, girls. Bye. 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 bye.